Hello, good morning everyone. This is your teacher, Charina Edi Quinto. And our lesson for today is Models Real Life Situation Using Quadratic Function Under Week 6, Lesson 1, Learning Competency M9, Algebra-1, G-2. For our objectives, the first one is relate quadratic equations to real life situations and write quadratic functions in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and determine the values of a, b, and c. Grade 7 and 8 math deals mainly with linear functions, functions whose higher exponent of the variable is 1. This time, you will learn about quadratic function, how this function differs from that of the linear function, and how quadratic function can be expressed in standard form are the main concerns of this material. So when is a function quadratic? A function is quadratic if it is a polynomial function of second degree and can be expressed in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, which is considered a standard form where a, b, and c are the real numbers and a should not be equal to zero. Consider the following functions. I have here five examples. Item number 1 and number 2 are quadratic functions since both items are second degree function. This one, this is obvious and this number 2, when you do the FOIL method, you will have an x squared. And item number 2 can also be expressed in the standard form which is y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 8. And then for item number 3, the function y is equal to 2x minus 10 is not quadratic but a linear function since the higher, no, the higher exponent is 1 or it is in the first degree function. For item number 4, this is a third degree function and this is not quadratic since the highest exponent of the variable x is 3 then it is considered a cubic function item number five this is not a quadratic function as well if we simplify the right side then we will have y is equal to x squared minus 9 minus x squared So what are some real life situations that illustrate quadratic functions? For example, the path of the ball shown into the air. This follows a quadratic function. Number two, the shape of a parabolic mirror or a reflecting telescope. So this one is like a U-shape, you know, when you drop something here it's gonna be a u-shape so ano siya, no? quadratic function din siya. as well as the satellite for number three the graph that maximizes the profit in any business such in this example the red mark indicates the highest profit in a business. The graph shows that the maximum profit is 12,500 at a selling price of 35 pesos. Ito, 35 pesos. Okay? And the maximum profit is 12,500. For number four, the maximum area covered by the given amount of fencing material. For instance, you have um, a width here of X and a length of 100 minus 2X. It is represented in this uh, in this representation, then if we are going to make a graph of the values that we will be substituting to x, it will give us a maximum area of 1,250 square feet when the value of x is equal to 25 feet. Therefore, this uh, pattern is an example of a quadratic function. 
Also, number five, parabolic shapes formed out of water functions such as the ones that we see in Luneta or Bagumbayan. It used to be a Bagumbayan. And then, why do you think this situations model a quadratic function? Remember from your grade 8 mathematics that certain real-life situations re represent linear function. An example is based upon the relationship between the amount of water and time wasted when the rate of the leak is constant at 1 gallon per hour. See the graph at the right and then the graph results to a line. Hence, it is called linear function. Ito yung example. The graph of the relationship between the amount of water and the time when the rate of the leak is at constant 1 gallon per hour. So this is the amount of water, this is the time. And then the dots here, dots, dots, dots. It's an imaginary dots, by the way, represents the, the, linear, the linear function. Now, the same thing is true with the quadratic function. What common characteristics have you seen in each of the situations given uh, prior to this slide? So, yes, all of the situations showed a certain U-shaped figure, which is known in mathematics as a parabola. A parabola is a graph of a quadratic function, which will be discussed in the succeeding lessons. When you throw a ball at a certain velocity, we can find for its height at the any given time will produce a U-shaped figure as shown above when plotted or at the previous slide when plotted. The same thing is true with the water fountains, a very familiar situation. Other situations modeled by quadratic functions are those that involve either the maximum or the minimum value, such as uh, example na binigay natin as in the profit of a particular business. Now, how do we find the values of A, B, and C of a quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c? Refer to the table of examples. In this table, we will have a quadratic function that is written in the standard form or y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, indicating the values of a, b, and c. So I have here, you know this already. You are very much familiar with this. So it's 2, negative 7, 4. But let's go fast track on number 4, which is y is equal to x squared minus 3. In this example, notice that there is no x value here. That's why it is a 0. Yung x squared natin is 1. And then the constant value is negative 3. Uh, dito marami nagkakamaling mga bata yung hindi nila nako-consider yung sign. No? Minsan ang sagot lang nito, nila dito for 3x is positive 3. It should, be, it should be negative kasama yung sign before the number. No, before the numerical coefficient. So, also with negative 9, dapat kasama yung negative. And also with 7x squared, kasama rin yung negative sign. Marami ditong nagkakamali. And let's go fast with number 5. Y is equal to 4x squared plus x. So, notice na wala siyang constant number. Meron siyang x squared, meron siyang x, which is 1. And yung x squared niya, numerical coefficient is 4. But notice that there is no constant number o wala siyang uh, number dito na whole number na solo. So, these are the values of ABC using the quadratic function. Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. Now, we will have additional illustrative examples. We are asked to rewrite each of the following quadratic functions into standard form and give the values of A, B, and C. Okay, so number 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5 are given. So there are 5 examples. And for the solution, let's uh, consider number 1 first, of course. We have 6x squared minus 9 is equal to 2x plus y. Then we have to arrange it first following the format of uh, the quadratic function of my y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's going to be like this. 6x squared minus 2x minus 9 is equal to y. Then we can also 
um, uh, reposition it in this manner, applying the symmetric property of equality, which will become y is equal to 6x squared minus 2x minus 9. Thus, the values of a are a is equal to 6, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 9. Now, let's take a look at number 2. 12 minus 5x is equal to x squared plus y. Then we will have to apply addition property of equality. We will transfer the x squared over here on the left side. It becomes negative x squared. And the y we will just stay here. Negative 5x uh, is re will just remain on its position and 12 as well. So, we will have now... Wala, kinapi lang. Ah, nereposition lang yung 5x. Ah, nilapit lang dito sa x squared para sunod-sunod yung kanyang powers, no? To the second power, to the first power, and then 12. No, wala naman nagbago sa signs. And then after that, we will now have, by symmetric property, we can uh, uh, interchange the position of this y and the this on the left side. Thus, we will have y is equal to negative x squared minus 5x plus 12. Thus, we will have the values of a, b, c such as follows. a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to 12. Then for number 3, we will have 4x is equal to 7x squared minus 3 plus y. We can transfer, no, we can apply the addition property of equality, we move 7x squared here, magiging negative 7x, and then the negative 3 will become positive when moved here. Kaya magiging negative 7x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to y. It is already arranged no, in, a, in, in order, in ascending order ng powers, yung second power, first power sa x. Kaya, pwede na natin malaman ng values ng ABC, pero this can further be interchanged by applying the symmetric property of equality. Thus, we will have Y is equal to negative 7X squared plus 4X plus 3. Thus, the values of A is negative 7, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 3. Last number is 5, Y is equal to quantity 2X plus 1 times x plus 5. We will do FOIL method first. Ah, we'll do number 4 first, sorry. So, we'll have 2x squared is equal to negative 6x plus 3 plus y. We will uh, uh, apply addition property of equality by adding a positive 6 here, positive 6x saka negative 3 dito lilipat ko doon. Kaya magiging 2x squared plus 6x minus 3 dito naman magzi-zero na siya. Kaya is equal to y. And then by applying the symmetric property pagpalitin natin yung position niya. Symmetric property, pinagpalit lang to at saka yung y. So it will give us y is equal to 2x squared plus 6x minus 3. Then we will have the value of abc such as a is equal to 2, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to negative 3. And last number, we have number 5, y is equal to 1 pt, 2x plus 1 times x plus 5. We will apply the FOIL method here. So, yung 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times 5 is 10x, 1 times x is simply x. Kahit hindi na natin isulat yung 1. And then 1 times 5 is equal to 5. We can combine similar terms such as 10x plus 1x. Thus, it will give us 11x. And then, we'll just copy the 2x squared here and the positive 5 here. And so, it's already arranged in the y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c form. Thus, we can now have the values of a, b, c such as a is equal to 2, b is equal to 11, and c is equal to 5. Ooh. Now, for your assignment, no, determine whether or not it, uh, each of the following situation models quadratic function. Write QF it, it, if it models quadratic functions and N if it does not. I want you to send your answer only from 1 to 8 no, on your GC, class GC, and uh, we will check uh, on Tuesday. Okay, thank you so much.
Now, for activity 2, I just would like you to fill out this table, but I just want you to choose one number. One number only that you will answer, whether it is a quadratic function or not, or if it is a quadratic function, I want you to write it in standard form, and then I want you to specify the ABC. Now, what happens if it is not? If it is not, then you write not here, and this one, not applicable because that cannot be expressed in standard form. And of course, not applicable din yung ABC because you cannot have the values of ABC if it is not in standard form. So that's it. You just choose one number and also send your answer on your class GC as soon as you have your answer. And so, once your section was able to answer from numbers 1 to 15, then I will give you a perfect score of 15 for activity number 2. I hope this is clear with you. If none of your classmates answered, for example, hindi wala talagang nagsagot ng number 10 and number 11, then your score will only be 13 over 15. I hope it's clear. Good morning, everyone. We are now on our week 6, lesson 2, learning competency M9AL-1G-2 represents quadratic functions using table of values and equations. The objectives for today represents quadratic functions using table of values and equation. Identify if the table of values represents quadratic function or not. So, we are now going to identify quadratic functions given the table of values. Paano nga kaya malalaman kung quadratic function kung ang table of values ang binigay? So, we are going to consider the following illustrations. Number one is handshake problem. Ibig sabihin, kakamayan mo no? lahat ng mga participants, for example. So, Tamisha is enrolled in a TAC. Taekwondo class of 10 students. On the first day of class, her teacher asked everyone to shake hands and introduce themselves to each other. Tamisha wants to know how many handshakes has been exchanged. So let us illustrate the situation using the table of values. So there are number of students, X, for example, 1 up to 10 students, and the number of students or, or handshakes is being represented by Y. So, for example, for the first student, no, ang number of handshake niya pa lang ay wala. Wala pa siyang makakamayan, but if there are two students, there will be one handshake to each other. And if there are three students, there will be three handshakes. Four students, there will be six handshakes. And five students, there will be ten handshakes. How many handshakes can uh, be made if there are 6 students, 7 students, 8 students, 9, or 10 students? So, for 6 students, there will be 15 handshakes. Kung lahat, bawat isa ay kakamayan o iha-handshake ang bawat isa. For 7 students, there will be 21 handshakes. All in all, for number 8, there will be 28 handshakes. Number 9, there will be 36 handshakes and number 10 there will be 45 handshakes now the table above represents a quadratic function why paano nga kaya nasabi na quadratic function so this is the solution to answer this question let us consider the following table of values that represents a linear function first the uh, equation is y is equal to 2x minus 3 now, these are the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, y is equal to negative 1, 1, 3, 5, and 7. So, yung 5 and 7 meron siyang difference na 2. 3 and 5 meron siyang difference na 2. 1 and 3 meron siyang difference na 2. Negative 1 and positive 1 has a difference of 2. Differences in y is constant na 2. Diba? So, this table above showed the characteristics. Y values has equal differences, which is 2. Hence, it represents 
a linear function. So, yung unang differences ni y is 2 pare-pareho. That's why it's called a linear function. A table of values represents linear function if equal differences in x produce equal differences in y. Yan yung pinaka-general rule. Now, if we will be using the the handshake problem, notice that 36 and 45 has a difference of 9, 28 and 36 has a difference of 8, 21 and 28 has a difference of 7, 15 and 21 has a difference of 6, 10 and 15 has a difference of 5, 6 and 10 has a difference of 4, 3 and 6 has a difference of 3, 1 and 3 has a difference of 2, and 0 and 1 has a difference of, of course, 1. Now, this is the first difference in y, but take note that unlike in the table of values of linear function, the difference in variable y for the table of values of handshakes are not equal. Napansin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, hindi yan equal, diba? And so on. But what if we get the second difference in y? Kung isosolve ulit natin yung second difference in y, 8 and 9 has a difference of 1, 7 and 8 has a difference of 1, 6 and 7 has a difference of 1, and so on and so forth. So, lahat yan ay equal differences ng y. Yun ngayon yung naging second differences natin in y are actually, no, they are equal. Such table represents a quadratic function. So, yun. Nalaman na natin na ganun lang pala ang pag-check kung quadratic function ang given values using table of values kapag yung second differences in y niya ay pare-pareho or the same. No? Katulad neto, example neto, first differences in y are not the same but when you take a look at second differences in y, it will become a constant one. Hence, a table of values represents a quadratic function if equal differences in x produce second equal differences in y. So, yun yung magiging pinakabatayan natin if the second equal differences in y is being produced. Now, finding the equation of the function given the table of values pa rin tayo. If the table of values, particularly that of the handshake problems, represents a quadratic function, how can we find for its equation? For solution, we consider the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We need to find the values of a, b, and c. By doing so, we first select three ordered pairs x and y from the table of values. Take note that it is advisable for us to choose those ordered pairs with the smallest values. Kaya smallest values para mas madaling mag-compute. So in this case, we select the table of ordered pairs 1 and 0, 2, 1, and 3, 3. Then form a system of equation in terms of A, B, C. So pwili ka lang dyan ng tatlo. So, for example, use y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and consider each of the ordered pair to form linear equation. For example, at one at point one zero, then x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, then substitute these values to the standard form of the quadratic equation uh, function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, then we will have 0 is equal to a uh, quantity 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c and 0 is equal to a, b, and c. Thus, the first equation will be, ito yung first equation natin. For the ordered pairs to 1, if we will uh, have the x, that's 2, y is equal to 1. If it's when yung x sub c sa niya is 2, y coordinate niya is 1. And then, we will have, we will apply the standard form of quadratic function y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c then we will have pag nag substitute na tayo 1 is equal to a quantity 2 squared plus b times 2 times plus c then we will have 1 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c tapos we can now have the second equation. For the third equation, if we will be using the order pairs 3 and 3, so thus x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3, then we substitute in the quadratic uh, function 
uh, formula y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, then we will have p is equal to a quantity 3 squared plus b quantity 3 plus c. Then we will have 3 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. And so this will become our third equation. Okay. Another example is finding the equation of the function given the table of values. So, for instance, we have the following equations, first, second, and third equation. Solving these three equations simultaneously to find the values of A, B, and C, then we can now have, for example, yung second equation natin, and uh, uh, the second equation is 1 is equal to 4A plus 2B plus C, and then yung ating first equation naman is 0 plus a plus b plus a. 0 is equal to a plus b plus c. Pero, notice na meron siyang negative to dyan. Ang ginawa dyan ay minultiply yung equation 1 by negative 2. Bakit minultiply sa negative 2? Para ma-eliminate yung b. Kasi dito, mapapansin nyo, ang b dito is positive 2b. Para ito, pag minultiply sa negative 2, magiging negative 2b. At syempre, magka-cancel out na yan. O mawawala na yung letter b at a and c na lang yung matitira. So, ang mangyayari ngayon, magiging ganito siya. Pag applying the distributive property, no? negative 2 times A is negative 2A, negative 2 times B is negative 2B, negative 2 times C is negative 2C. And then, we will have, pag sinold na natin to magiging 2A, eto makakancel na kasi ito. Diba? Makakancel na. And then, C saka negative 2C will become C. And then, after that, we will now have the fourth equation. Ito yung sagot ay naging ating fourth equation. Now, we can now get another pairs, which is the third equation and the first equation. So, for example, the third equation is given by the, the equation 3 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. And then, the first equation is, once again, 0 is equal to abc. But this time around, we will multiply this by a negative 3. Bakit na naman negative 3? Because our purpose here is to eliminate the b once again. Kasi pag minultiply natin yan, magiging etong uh, third equation will still be like this. But the first equation will become 0 is equal to negative 3a minus 3b minus 3c. And then, syempre, pagkaganyan, magka-cancel na to, no? Magzi-zero na kasi tong part na to. Kaya ma eliminate na natin yung letter B. Kaya maganda siya na minun-multiply siya. Pero yung pag-multiply, depende kung sa ano yung balak mong i-eliminate. Okay? So, thus, the, the answer to this equation, yung third and first equation, pag pinagsama natin, it will become 3 is equal to 6A minus 2C. Wala na yung B. Na wala na. So, this will serve as our fifth equation. Okay, now, solving these two equations simultaneously, ang tinutukhi dito ay yung fourth at yung fifth equation, we can have the, the equation 1 is equal to 2a minus c, and then the fifth equation is 3 is equal to 6a minus 2c. But notice na nagmultiply tayo dito ng negative 2 because our main purpose naman this time is to eliminate the letter C. Because we're done to eliminate the letter B at first, now we will uh, try to eliminate the letter C now. Now, upon na uh, distribute distribution, no? Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 2a is negative 4a. And negative 2 saka times negative c is positive uh, 2c. And then, as is pa rin tong equation 5 na to, yung fifth equation natin. And then, we'll, we'll uh, simplify this, no? By having a 1 is equal to 2a. This 1 is equal to 2a can further be simplified as a is equal to 1 half. Ibig sabihin, may value na tayo na eliminate na natin yung b, yung c, tas may value na tayo ngayon ng a. Now, using the fourth equation, pwede tayong gumamit ng fourth equation or pwede rin fifth equation, but in this uh, problem, I will be using the fourth equation, substitute the value of a 
para naman ma-solve kung ano yung na, yung value ng C. Ang galing, di ba? So, we will have the original equation is 1 is equal to 2A minus C. And then, we will apply the 1 half here. So, it becomes 1 is equal to 2 quantity 1 half minus C. Then, if we will try to solve that, it will become C is equal to 0. Nakuha na natin yung value ngayon na C is equal to 0. Now, from the first equation, 0 is equal to A, B plus C, then we will have now, pwede na natin malaman yung value ng 1 half because once we substitute the value of A there, it's 1 half, and then we find the value of B, and then the C naman is 0. That's why wala nang nakalagay dito. Now, pwede na natin malaman yung value ng B. And what is the value of B? Pag nilipat natin yung hanap dito sa left side, it's gonna be B is equal to negative 1 half. No, nag-symmetric property siya, parang negative 1 half is equal to B, or symmetric property B is equal to negative 1 half. Now, finally, in the form, Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C, we can now substitute the values of A, B, and C. So, we will have Y is equal to 1 half X squared minus, eto naman yung B, na negative 1 half x and then wala tayong value ng c 0. Kaya eto na ngayon malalaman na natin, ito pala yung equation kapag ang binigay lang pala sa atin ay table of values. Now in this equation this is the equation of the quadratic function for the handshake problem. Okay, ito yung sa handshake problem. Now for Example number two, we will have a projectile motion problem. Uh, a projectile is launched from a point on the ground. So, mula point sa ground. After a certain time of flight, in X seconds, then the projectile traveled at a certain height, Y, in meters. Given the table below, find the equation of this function. Like in the previous example, the problem is modeled by quadratic function as represented by the table of values shown below. Find, to find the equation, we need to first to know the values of A, B, and C. Also in this table, the second differences in variable y are equal. So, for example, this is the time of flight in x seconds. Ito yung 1 second, 2 seconds, and so on and so forth. And this is the height of the projectile y in meters. So, ibig sabihin, at 1 second, it's a, it can travel at 21 meters. Uh, second, I mean, uh, 2 seconds at 36 meters. 3 seconds at 45. So, this is what this means. Now, if we will try to get the differences of each, you know, for example, 0 and 21, 21 and 36, we will have, for example, negative 21 and difference dito, dito negative 15, dito negative 9, so 0 minus 21 is negative 21, 21 minus 36, no, parang ganun is negative 15, 36 minus 45 is negative 9, and so on and so forth. So, magkakaroon tayo na dito sa side na to is positive, dito naman is negative. Now, this is now the first difference in y. But, but if we will still continue the, the pattern or getting the differences, for here we will have a negative 6. Here is a negative 6, negative 6, all throughout the second differences. So, this is the second difference in y. Note that the common difference is negative since the numbers are decreasing. Kasi negative 21 minus 15. So, decreasing siya eh. So, negative siya. So, as observed in example 1, the table of values represents a quadratic phase functions since as shown. Equal differences in x produce equal second differences in y. Now, to find the equation of this function, we will again use the quadratic function in standard form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and we will find the value of a, b, and c. But this time, another method will be used in finding the values of these coefficients. Let's take a uh, let's take a look at the following and study the following. In this table of values, 
for every value x, we solve for the value of y using the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c so that the table will have actual value of y. So, in this table of values, for every values of x, we solve for the value of y using equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c so that the table will have the actual values of y. Table 2, we will have x is equal to 0, uh, the values of x are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The values of y is c, a plus b plus c, 4a plus 2b plus c, uh, 3, uh, 3 is 9a plus 3b plus c, and yung katapatang 4 is 16a plus 4b plus c. Now, you get the difference of that. We have 7a plus b, 5a plus b, 3a plus b, and a plus b. Now, this is the first difference in y. Now, we will still continue since hindi pa sila pare-pareho ng differences, we will now continue pa rin mag-get, kumuha ng differences. Thus, we will have 2a, 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 2a. Now, notice na uh, the differences are now equal in the second differences in y. Now, let us find for the value of a. Look at the second equal differences in y from tables 1 and 2. Let us now equate these two differences since they are both second equal differences in y. Therefore, we will have 2a is equal to negative 6. So, ito yung value ng second differences ng y at saka yung negative 6 naman ay equate sa table 1 eh, sa table 1 galing yung negative 6. A is equal to negative 3. Also, we can easily find the values of C by simply looking at the table of values, particularly Y value, where the corresponding X value is 0. So, in this case, C is equal to 0. Ito yon, Dito siya. So, for the step 3, this time we will look at the value of B. Take note that from table 1, the first differences in y is 21. Table 2, the first differences in y is a plus b. Ayan. And have you seen it? Yes, the first differences in y from tables 1 and 2 are equal. Therefore, a plus b is equal to 21, but a is equal to 3. And so, we will have, apply natin, uh, i-substitute natin, negative 3 plus B is equal to 21. And magiging siyang ganito, B is equal to 21 plus 3 or B is equal to <coughs> 24. Now, Step 4 will be substituting these values in the required equation. So, we will have y is equal to 3x squared plus bx plus c. And then, y is equal to negative 3x squared. Pagka sinabstitute na natin yan. So, plus 24x or 24 yung letter B natin. Ito yung letter B na nakuha natin dito. Letter A natin is negative 3 na nakuha natin dito. And then, the equation of the quadratic function in the projectile motion problem natin ay itong y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 24 plus x. As for the general, uh, for the generalization or summary, by second differences method, a relation from the table of values represents a quadratic function if equal differences in the independent variable x produce non-zero equal second differences in variable y. Now, to find the equation of the quadratic function from the given values, we use the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and then we find or compute for the values of a, b, and c. Medyo mahabang proseso to. Now, select the three ordered pairs from the table and substitute each ordered pair to the standard 
standard form of the quadratic equation to come up with a system of linear equation in terms of A, B, and C. Yung nagka-cancel-cancel tayo ng B, ng C, ganun. Solve these three unknowns simultaneously and then write the quadratic function in standard form with specific values of A, B, and C kapag tapos na kayo. Now, we can also use uh, the easier way to solve for A, B, and C. For the value of A, we use the equation 2A is equal to second differences in Y. For the value of B, we equate A plus B to the first value of the first differences in Y. Now, finally, for C, we look for the Y value of the table whose corresponding X value is 0. And such value of Y is the value of C or the constant. Now, for your activity, I would like you to choose one number uh, to answer. This is the instruction. Use the second differences method to determine if the table of values represents the quadratic function or not. Then, find the equation of each, though, each of those tables of values that are identified quadratic function. Pag alam nyo na yung sagot, umili ng isa, isend sa GC. So, you will get 10 points if yung buong section ninyo ay nakapagsagot May isang pumili ng 1, ng 2, ng 3, ng 4, ng 5. Pero kung meron kayong sudyante at may blanko kayo, for instance, walang nagsagot ng number 8, then your highest point will only be 9 out of 10. So, thank you for listening. I think I will call it a day. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck to your assignment. Send your answer to your GC. Bye!